What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Um, it's been a minute, but we are here with some more ATs, um, specifically the Dingo Killing Voice um, performance. I guess it would be performance, yeah. The video that they they um, they came out with about a month ago at this point, maybe a month and a half ago, because I think uh, Golden Hour was a little while ago. Um, but yeah, I've been putting it off because anyone that's heard me talk about Killing Voice videos in general knows that it makes me incredibly emotional. Um, so. It's gonna, I'm going to have to put on a brave face for this one. Before we get into that, though, I am going to make an announcement. Um, I'm making it on this video specifically because it is an ATs announcement. Um, I am going to begin a series. And I shouldn't phrase it like that because it makes it sound like I haven't started. I have the video set for uh, to come out on Friday. It Honestly, it's going to be interesting how you all respond to it. Um, I'm very excited for it, uh, the video, to see how you feel. But also, because I'm excited to continue recording for it. Um, it's very personal to me in a way that will become clear if you decide to watch. Um, this is so cryptic, and I actually, I was going to apologize for it, no, but I like being dramatic like this. Um, I, it's really fun. It recontextualizes the way I've looked at AT's discography um, in more ways than one. I guess that's how I'll put it. Um, and I'm really excited to go through it all again. Um, but yeah, so just to keep it vague... And for people to think about for some reason if they would ever want to come back to this video. Uh, that's coming out Friday. It will, I'm going to hope for every Friday. Um, schedules and such might make it so it's difficult. Again, that will become clear when uh, Friday comes around. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. And those who are involved are super excited too. And I don't know. I think it's just going to be really fun. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. It is an ATs based thing. Um, pretty specifically, actually. So that's why I'm doing it here. And yeah, I, uh, I'm i just yapping now. I'm trying to delay this video as much as possible. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, so it's time. I figured I could use this video to like, um, to kind of express my developed thoughts on Golden Hour as well as we get to that, 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 uh, that era throughout this journey we're going to take. So just click play. And I'm going to play. Okay, we're good. I'm going to try not to pause either. Actually, that's not true at all. I will be pausing very frequently. What's up? What's up? Dingo, what's up? What's up? Let's get started. One, two, three. Hey, Mr. Team. Hello, 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 Mr. Team. 어 듣고 좋으시다면 플레이리스트에 넣어 주시고 또 아시는 분들이 있다면 즐겁게 즐겨 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그럼 시작해 보겠습니다. Let's go. Maybe it's just because uh, pausing before the the uh the music even starts. Maybe it's just because I am a certified sloucher too, but it's like Hong Jun shows like like that always like kind of 듣고 좋으시다면 like플레이리스트에 넣어 주시고 <웃음> 또 아시는 분들이 있다면 즐겁게 즐겨 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그럼 시작해 보겠습니다. Let's go. Adjust my posture. Oh yeah. As an official future attendee Let's of an ATS concert. Oh, I'm trying to calculate this. Oh, I'm trying to calculate this. 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 I'm trying to calculate just going on They know I'm a low-key wave and oh let me not say that I'm not a wave anti but relative to every other song they have so they started with it so it's good I appreciate it I love this song every other title track I specifically This 
No surprise in my voice, but it is truly flawless. Alright, I'm gonna try to not look at the little previews to see what goes next. Unless this is in exact order. <laughs> in which case, sure. Okay. Okay, so it might be in exact order. <laughs> Get back your little ass, man. Don't you want a bad man? I got time, but it's not for you, bro. Don't you realize what I'm saying? Let's go. What you gonna do? Hey, let's go. One, two, eight, two, three, four. I'm young. Am I talking to you? I'm a talking to you. 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 I'm a <laughs> he's just like staring into him while he does it. <laughs> and he's obviously hit higher, but so it's like, like a squint, but it's like eyes open. Thankfully they're playing the banger bangers because if like if they play turbulence I would break down the tears. It's hard to cry at bouncy, except for when I'm gonna hear it in concert. It's not fully in order. Okay. Will you join us? Beat me up, beat me up. Rolling your nose, chin up, chin down every day. Ready, set, get ready, set. Jump, jump, party, go, yeah, I just dig up, yeah. Hey, I thought I tried to go. Yeah, but today I finally get it. I feel like somebody will get it. Ultra high, the guy's just about to take a step. I should fix your face, jump, that's your last, you got a pass, yeah. Get up, young, and let it go to the end. Even if you don't know that, all the mama go to that. I feel like you're not supposed to be that happy when you're performing such a uh, an intense song, you know. <laughs> okay. Clerical question, uh, because I'm very stupid. What it, this background is green screen, right? This is not like live lighting effects. Maybe it is, I don't know. Okay. Was this in the set list for the first part of the of his uh, this most recent tour, or like the current tour? Because I'm gonna be really sad if I don't play this. This has become one of my favorites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rolling the savage. Yeah, yeah. Chase 
Maybe it's because this is like a live and uh, potentially like li slightly altered live arrangement, but there's like no f no fan noise, so I could hear them perfectly. I feel like this little uh, vocal ad lib run, Jaho, just when I was like, it sounded different. Like, I, I mean, it would make sense. A set of This Wearing a bolo tie anywhere except for the American Southwest is crazy. I can't believe it. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the Jorts with the baggy ass jean jacket or like denim jacket. He looks <laughs> hilariously small. I don't know. What. <laughs> the clothes are just enveloping you. <laughs> Gotta hit that move every time. <laughs> Every time I hear that little section of the song, it's like I'm hearing it for the first time. Like, oh, I, lo I love that. I just, I'm so freaking glad that in the Asian stops of this current tour, they played the the original version of this, not the heat topping mix, which is a perfectly fine remix. So one of the few remixes I can tolerate in K-pop. I'm eternally, well, actually, I'm not, I'm going to assume 
and knock on a bunch of wood silently that they're going to keep it the way they had it for this run. Please, God, just let me hear the normal version. <laughs> Everyone sounds legitimately incredible to the point where, in a roundabout way, if people were like, "Oh, are you how how are we sure it's not like?" studio recordings or whatever people like to complain about and make stories up like it would be a almost legitimate question because they sound so great and then there's like they have the flourishes that live music really um that like it shows the benefit of live vocals and music like performance wise because they can do like Wu young's like a little more raspy voice or specifically song was like hit i don't even know how what to call it because like there's a rasp to it but like the emotion in his voice is always present but when it's unfiltered, it's something different. I love his delivery on so much stuff. Um, I saw a snippet of like one of the recording behinds where he's in the booth. Um, what song was it? What song was it? What song was it? It was um, Blind. Yeah, Blind, I'm pretty sure. Um, or Siren. I, it, was, it was one of the B-sides from, from Golden Hour. And it's, it's like his voice is so raw and emotional and like and like raspy and almost like whiny and i say that with like the most love and like respect for it because i don't know it's just it's hard to i feel like sometimes vocalists have a difficult time allowing imperfection sounding things from their voice when it's like re in the reality if like if you have vocal talent and it sounds good it can add so much to it I know, like, it was just a tiny little snippet, and I'm kind of referencing something that we haven't seen in this specific video, but just generally, I, I love it so much. of mentioning girl vocals again because that's kind of the point mingi being able to replicate or i shouldn't say replicate the fact that he doesn't have to try to replicate studio vocals in his delivery with like the the power and again like that the vocal fry i guess almost where it's like as if he's forcing it out of his throat like that's not something that like producers or studio engineers are like doing to the voice it's like him. I think that makes everything feel so much better in the studio recordings and here.
the aspect of his delivery is like almost his trademark. And it's like authentically him. And that's fucking perfect. Yay, let's get it now. Let's go, Captain. Let's go. I got it back. Pony the Jeep of this game. One chance bottle, check a mad day. Like that. Check out the Nana Ness game. No max, not a dollar sheep game. I every time I see them perform gorillas gorillas in any setting it could be killing voice now or any performance or them talking about it it's the love they have for playing this song is palpable and I had the love I have for the song currently now before i even saw them performing it but to see them love this performance every single time like you know talks about it him being it being his favorite i'm sure other uh, members have mentioned it too it just feels so validating like yes you're supposed like they're telling me i'm supposed to be obsessed with this song they they are too like it's it's sim it's symbiotic gorilla ats a tinny it's a triumvirate and it it's perfect like the, the, the extra shit the, the ad libs they weren't doing that for the song the vocal delivery changes Show 
네, 다음 곡은 에이티즈의 귀여운 뽀짝한 매력을 느낄 수 있는 이터널 선샤인입니다. 그럼 지금 시작합니다. This is perfect set listing because I needed to. I, 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 I the, with the concert approaching rather quickly, actually. Every time I hear Gorilla, like I, I get, I get worked up to a point where it's like I need to calm myself down. This is so Eternal Sunshine, a song I love. Mingi's raw singing voice is much softer and breathy. Like, because obviously it's always, um, like when he sings, it's very soft because if he goes too hard, like the, 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 the crazy power tone is going to come out. But it's much airier than I thought. I don't want to talk like real vocal tones because I don't have them. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But just the way it felt, it was like very soothing and calm and soft. It's nice. <laughs> Was it even that high in the song? Jesus Christ, I'm here. Here we go, 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 every day, every night. Let us go, go, go. Who me and Moduka being so dumb, I'm just so not so mad. Make it this year, go, go. We can't touch Utopia. We can't reach the Utopia. Every day, oh. every night, we keep going on. Okay, then, a little bit more. Oh, fuck me. I didn't. 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 I did I mean, it makes sense. Too beautiful a song not to sing like this. 
I, this is crazy to come from me almost a year into this a t &E business. I don't know why, like recently, this, this recent comeback, but just like everything I'm seeing about him and yes, I'm bearing the lead. I'm not going to say who it is first. Um, and just like his overall vibe and how cool he was and honestly, and, uh, the world, uh, will that come back to like being my first official like new release comeback as an ATNE obviously has a big impact on me. Songba is like it's kinda like controlling me kinda. I don't just this most recent comeback. Insane. He's always just so cool, but like the vote like is he's enrapturing me right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to survive Mingi's verse, so thank you for cutting it. Wow, as a first B-side, okay. Oh. Stupid, of course, because they play the. Yeah, I know the. I know the why turbulence and fever going back. I'm so. I'm so. Action happened later. This song grew on me a lot. Okay, shout out to KK Family. Oh my god. 18 is hanging out. Me too. I've been searching for an empty box, this what I need. My bones are up so can I'm getting no yaki. Can I get in that shot of my tear? I was I first of all, this song song hasn't grown on me because i really liked it to start but like after reading sitting with the lyrics and like listening to it again and like gotta stop saying like between the three but listening to this song with more frequency outside of the context of the album has actually made me appreciate it more this is such an emotional song and the emotion is captured so well and especially like song was vocals once again i feel like i feel as if the <laughs> his vocal like oh, once it once you realize that you say certain words over and over again it's very difficult to move past it but his vocals and the emotion that comes very natural it seems is such a perfect match and him doing the chorus like this using the that was used in the context it's perfect I've been searching for an empty box, this is what I need My bones hold up so can I Is it too much to ask for them to do blind? Can I get in the chat of my dear, I just need Is it all day I have to cut that I'll never miss you I'll never miss you And I'll never miss you Their lyrics, just watch 
wash over me. I gotta move on. Cut the cannons off. particular section in this song is like heartbreaking it's it's this song is fucking beautiful man i, I truly love this song Okay, I'm assuming it's going into work because that's what you said. Yes. Okay, I need to be honest. This may make a lot of people mad at me. Actually, you know, before we get into that, let me be explicit. By no means do I dislike work. But I think... Oh, this might be a long one. Okay, <laughs> Just stay with me, please. I think this is the first time ATs has kind of relented in the like the constant battle between making their own music and making something that can be digestible. This is the first time they've leaned towards the digestible sound in a title track to me. And it doesn't make it inherently bad. In fact, Work is a really well-made song with good performances, and it's very pleasant to listen to. But it's a very understated beat for an 80s title track. And I don't mean, like, Turbulence is not some crazy loud song, and neither is Wave, but the way, like, they still, it's still, like, powerful in its own way. Those songs still carry this big feeling to me work the more i listen to it especially in the context it's like the opposite of empty box for me the more i listen to empty box outside of the album like inside the album it's wonderful outside as its own song it's like great it, it elevates so much so i guess not the opposite but like work as an individual song i like it super fun to listen to i'm sure they're gonna play it in concert so i'm gonna enjoy it then for sure when I listen to it surrounded by all of these hyper unique, super energetic, and I'm including Empty Box in this because that has its own very distinct energy that's super present th like throughout the entire song, work is kind of just there. 
and I don't know why. It, I don't know. I people I know A T D love this. Like love, love, love work to the point where it's their favorite song on the album. To me, it's my again, I say this with the caveat that I very genuine like all the songs. Work is my least favorite on the album. By a not insignificant margin. I just feel like for example, they I believe it's the same director that did the reel as the they did the work a music video which is super fun to watch but the reel ironically enough one of my least favorite title tracks from them <laughs> at that had a certain level of insanity and craziness to the instrumental to the music that the music video was allowed to match that because that music video is of a, a it's beautiful it's it's awesome to watch work i feel like they tried to capture the same chaotic energy in the music video, but because work is inherently less energetic than the real and thus more difficult to kind of like the visuals would be, it would be a contrast between these hyper eclectic, super crazy visuals. And they still get very weird. And I, the music video is really good. It elevates the song to me, but I just think, I don't know work left something to be desired for me they entered when you make a kind of understated old school ish because of like this the, the constant sample loops like super simple loop super simple instrumental beat super simple uh beat pattern or drum pattern excuse me it's like you're putting yourself in an arena where a lot of people make that music and while at's executed it really well I feel like their bag, the reason I love them so much is that they make their own music and they make people enjoy it rather than them kind of like falling into this arena where it's like, oh yeah, I caught a lot of people. This is going to make a lot of Aitani upset, but I'm comfortable making this comparison, even though it is different. La Seraphim had a comeback called Easy. I don't like that song, but the vibe of it is the same to me they kind of go into this laid back kind of yo know, like easy little uh rap song it's i don't i don't know i've talked about i talked about this to my friend who doesn't listen to k-pop and he was kind of just like sitting there blank out at me but i played the songs back to back and he kind of saw what i'm saying anyway i'm sorry to do this all in the song <laughs> on the video about how much i love them and their incredible work and their growth because all of that is true i don't want to it's just I haven't I've been gone for like 40 days since the 80s video and I've been thinking about it. it's been eating me alive so I had to say it somewhere uh I don't know I just like I, I'm not asking for every comeback to be Halazia or bouncy or like I don't I don't want them to be feel stuck into this like crazy like you have to be this bombastic sound because I don't want that I want them to make turbulence and like all that so like I mean not not again but like answer and inception like those are not crazy bombastic sounds, but they're 80s. I want that. Work felt like, it felt like 80s. It's still authentic to them, but it's kind of like, where, 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 like, where was the rest of it? That's how, I, that's basically how I felt. Anyway, let's listen, let's, let's listen to the play. Let's go. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I still like it. But like, blind, empty, pot, like, even the fucking golden hour intro, it had the, 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 the 80 seasoning to it. Like, the intrigue it's like if i go intro where it's like leaving a lot of questions like oh wow it's crazy how like i wonder how this ties in i love the emotion that it's it's, it's invoking blind insane unbelievable product production incredible song work well that's, that's fun which it is like that it's it's fun song empty box deeply emotional beautiful performance shaboom psychotic this <laughs> just psychotic concept reggae slash edm with complete there's just a schism in between both. And then Siren. I I feel like it's a, it's valid to to wonder like the fit there. I like, guess kind of the this is basically just a podcast at this point. It's kind of the way I felt about Bouncy in Outlaw for the first couple times after hearing Outlaw, like the album all the way through. Except it was the opposite, where I was like, Bouncy is too good. It's too good as a single for me to fully appreciate outlaw as an cohesive like conceptual album altogether because the way those song the b-sides play off each other back to back is impeccable 
and you kind of just throw bouncy in there in the middle it's like oh okay let's take a break a turn up type shit but then the more i listen to it this sounds perfect it's a perfect album it's like the opposite here it's like all the b-sides they're bringing this energy regardless of genre and the work kind of like goes back down because even the dance break like they strip away from the instrumental it's like like the they they're they're as if they're trying to replicate the the create the super crazy uh traditional instrument uh dance break from the real because they do have like the song choreographed dance break super fucking cool it's just they take they take they take more away from the sound i don't get i just don't really understand where the the full vision for the song was if that makes sense and now that, that you guys can be mad at me in the comments really want to hear what you guys want to say about that just this is how i feel gotta work gotta make that money make first because like the energy doesn't really come up from here it's just kind of just like a light back low vibe gotta gotta work gotta make that money make first gotta work so i'm making first gotta get that credit get first gotta 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 work yo yo do me chak chak chumbi dan and golden play Oh, that song was delivery on that, of course. <laughs> another a continued gripe from like another reason for it is the sample loop that we get for the whole song perfectly fine I am upset. Maybe this is a little biased because I feel like this loop, it fits thematically more with the sound of the rest of the album. And also, it's just more interesting to listen to. So to me, it's like you give it to us for 15 seconds in your title track. And it's like... Uh, I. I if we could want to just like i don't know it, it it's it works for the build i just wish there was more energy to build off of I'm sorry, guys. To a and and to ATs, it's just not my favorite. Shinkaji, eight to just now, dude. Is it? Hey, Mr. Dean, come on now. Thank you, Dingo. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What up? <sighs> Damn, ending the video on such a dour note. I mean, I'm not upset. You guys might be, and it would be better. I, we, we eight to just. This would be a very apt comparison. And I'm not saying they're making the same song, but if they're try if they're like they brought back the same director, they kind of have a similar dance break, literal dance break at the end. I want you to just see how the energy is different. That's it. That's all I'm asking. To see how the energy is different. Hey, 
I mean, that was wonderful. Truly a pleasure. Truly a, 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 an honor to hear them. But I would be remiss if I didn't bring it up. And again, I want to be explicitly clear. I neither want them to, expect them to, nor think that they even wanted to replicate the real one-to-one. -one. I'm just saying the parallels in the way that the music video was made, the the structure of the song itself, it just... Work is like if they said, hey, the reel had too much energy. Let's take it back by like 40% and see how that works. And to me, it just didn't really work in the way that I think an 80s quality title track should work. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Like I said, I love 80s. I, I'm thankful, like genuinely, that they didn't do the full turbulence because I heard they were leading into Minky's verse and that would have made me break down. I was fighting them back already. Um, I love them. I will be seeing them in concert, I hope as they begin this uh, that's actually coming up so 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 soon um folks that are in concert goingable areas i hope you have the chance to see them i uh, hope you enjoy everything every interaction you have with them to the fullest um, again i have a new consistent ats upload every week in the form of a new series uh i suppose more hint i will be like i will be revisiting old music in a new way and i'm genuinely so excited and i hope you all enjoy it it's it i i'm looking forward to it so much that even if you guys hate it which i hope not i mean it just it, it, like perfectly fine if you do i just I, i'm gonna be doing it anyway so there's that i guess um but yeah i i'm excited for you guys to see it i'm excited for those involved on my end get to like for them to get to experience it um I'm just super excited for a lot of stuff. I will be back with more consistency. That's the fourth time you heard me say that in the last three months. Um, this time I feel like it's real. <laughs> oh my god. I love you all. You're too kind to me in many ways. Bye-bye. <sighs> Peace. Bye-bye. Peace. Jesus Christ.